This video is intended to provide an introductory overview of the clinical applications of transcranial Doppler. This video is not intended for use as a guideline for clinical management, nor is it intended for use as a reference for making clinical diagnoses. Multigon and the authors strongly encourage clinicians interested in transcranial Doppler testing and interpretation to pursue formal accredited training. Multigon and the authors make no claims and assume no liability for the content of this video. Transcranial Doppler, TCD, is a non-invasive ultrasound device used to evaluate blood flow velocity in the major basal cerebral arteries of the brain on a beat-to-beat -beat basis. Portability, low cost, and non-invasive nature of study make TCD an essential tool for diagnosis and management of cerebrovascular disease. Multigon Industries, manufacturer of the Neurovision TCD system, has developed this videotape to introduce you to some of the many clinical applications of TCD. At Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center, we use transcranial Doppler on a daily basis as part of our clinical management of patients with stroke and cerebrovascular disease. Some of the advantages of TCD include its safety, portability, low cost, and the non-invasive nature of the test. TCD is an excellent alternative to costlier and more invasive modalities that carry small but tangible risks of morbidity and mortality. TCD provides real-time information on intracranial hemodynamics that is not now available on any other diagnostic test. TCD has an important role in stroke prevention because of its predictive value in the assessment of risk factors. A thorough neurovascular ultrasound examination should include both carotid duplex ultrasonography and TCD since the mechanisms of stroke involve both intra and extracranial processes. Further, extracranial screening tests that are performed without TCD evaluation may erroneously fail to identify patients with intracranial disease at serious risk for stroke. The primary care physician should consider referring patients with the following conditions for a neurovascular evaluation, usually including both a carotid and vertebral duplex scan and TCD examination. This might include the conditions listed in the following graphic. The primary care physician should consider referring patients with the following conditions for a neurovascular evaluation usually including both a carotid vertebral duplex scan and TCD examination. Indications for TCD examination, as seen on this graphic, might include a high risk of atherosclerosis and stroke, including carotid bruis, transient ischemic attack, peripheral and coronary vascular disease, known extracranial atherosclerosis, including carotid stenosis or occlusion, failed previous stroke preventive therapy, either medical or surgical, suspected arterial dissection, children with sickle cell disease, known or suspected intracranial atherosclerosis, suspected cardiac or artery-to-artery -artery brain embolization, or vertebral basilar ischemic symptoms. TCD instruments send an ultrasound signal directly into an artery and analyze the return signal. Mean flow velocity and ratios of peak systolic to end diastolic velocity are used for interpretation. Identification of vessels is accomplished by controlling depth of insonation and evaluation of signal direction, velocity, pitch, and compression and tapping maneuvers. Criteria for vessel identification have been established through extensive correlation of TCD examination results with angiograms and other imaging modalities. The examination begins with insonation through the temporal windows. Insonation of the artery is made possible by a thinning of the skull in the area above the zygomatic arch. The examination starts at a depth of 5.0 centimeters and the transducer is aimed anteriorly to evaluate the M1 segment of the middle cerebral artery. It is often also possible to sample the terminal internal carotid artery by angling the probe inferiorly. By increasing the depth of insonation, the bifurcation of the internal carotid artery is displayed. Increasing the depth further allows insonation of the A1 segment of the anterior cerebral artery. The communicating arteries are not generally evaluated except in cases of collateral flow. 
The transducer is then aimed posteriorly to evaluate the P1 segment of the posterior cerebral artery. This examination is completed on both left and right sides. The ophthalmic artery is accessed through the orbital window. Increases in depth of insonation allow examination of the cavernous portion of the internal carotid artery and the ICA siphon. The vertebral and basilar arteries may be accessed from the suboccipital window. This portion of the study may be performed while the patient is seated with head bent or from the supine position by reaching under the neck. The vertebral arteries are followed from the V3 segment to the basilar artery by increasing insonation depth. The basilar artery may be followed from its origin to its more distal portions with incremental increase in depth of insonation. TCD may be used for both inpatient and outpatient diagnostic studies as well as perioperative monitoring. Diagnostically, TCD is considered a critical part of a thorough neurovascular examination in conjunction with a duplex imaging study, as duplex imaging may miss cases of intracranial pathology. Intraoperatively, TCD provides instantaneous indication of flow in the MCA during endarterectomy and is used to guide shunt placement. TCD is also being evaluated for its ability to detect microemboli during cardiac procedures. However, this application is considered experimental. Mulsigan would like to thank the following physicians for their invaluable contributions of case studies and clinical information. Dr. Charles Tegler of the Wake Forest University School of Medicine, Dr. Andre Alexandrov of the University of Texas at Houston, Dr. Eric J. Heyer of Columbia University, and Dr. Frederick W. Kremkoff for use of the facilities of the Wake Forest University School of Medicine Center for Medical Ultrasound. Multigon Industries is committed to continuing its history of advancement and education in medical technology. A variety of educational tools are available from our clinical educational division, including training programs, anatomical models, reference charts and materials.